Hello everyone, it's me JB from Unique Tutorials. Today, in this video, I will show you best free vector graphic designing and editing software for Windows, Mac and Linux computers. So without further more delay, let's begin. So firstly, just open any web browser and in the Google search, just search for one application name as Inkscape and on the first list, you will see its official website. Just click on it. Now just click on this download option and now you can see current version, latest version and extensions. So this software supports even the extensions so by clicking on extensions you can download and install the extensions. So right now we will firstly download the current version. So current version means the stable version and if you want to try the beta or the developer version then you can get this latest development version but I will highly recommend to download the stable version because it may contain a minute or negligible bugs whereas the developer version may contain a lots of bugs so I'll highly recommend to download the current version so just click on it and now you will see here for different multiple operating system so Linux Windows Mac OS so if you're using a Mac then you can click Mac if you're using for Windows then you can select Windows and if you're using a Linux then you can select for Linux so right now I'm using a Windows operating system so I'll just select on Windows now it will show you 64 bit and 32 bit so if your operating system is 64 bit then you can download either of these two and if your Windows operating system only supports 32 bit then you need to get this 32 bit so right now I will download the 64 bit now it will provide you three different files like the installer that is a .exe or .msi which is the standard windows installer package and if you want it as a portable then you can download this compressed archive file so right now I'll download the .exe the installer file wait for a few seconds so the download has been started so wait for a few more seconds until the downloading is done so finally the download has been completed so let me go to the folder where this thing downloaded and let me close this web browser so since it's a installer file so what I need to do is just double left click it to run the software installer now just click on next to proceed with installation you can just enable this to create Inkscape desktop icon and click on next click on next click on next and click on install but for a few more seconds until the complete installation is done so finally the installation has been completed now click on finish and wait for a few more seconds so finally you can see the some welcome screen so here it will ask you to select a uh, canvas size so you can select a uh, canvas default dark color or default anything and here a uh, keyboard layout what type of keyboard layout and appearance when you want a colorful this is just for the software so you can select dark mode or light mode this is a basic I'll just keep it as it is and just click on save click on thanks now here you will get a tons of options right like existing files print screen video social and other so we're not going to discuss much about here whatever been shown here so it may show you this every time if you want to enable this and if you want to disable then you don't show when you start this software so I'll just disable it and you can load the Inkscape files also if you have earlier any scalable vector graphics files that is .sbg or you can just create a new one so let us create a new one so now you can see the user interference of this software right so I'll not make you bored by discussing it in every options or buttons they are providing here I'll just mainly focus what it gonna offer for you say so here say let us take some shapes like circle say right so this is a circle and say I'll just add a square box here along with it and I'll just want to change color then you can just select a color here so you can see here fill so and you can select whatever color you want so I will put a green one and I'll just 
put it so overall everything gonna change right so I'll just undo it again I'll just keep it in the black in color so you can choose uh, tons of here like calligraphic free draw hand if you want to draw something there are tons of options so so this Inkscape software supports even a uh, plugins or the extensions so you can see here on the above extension option just click on it and you will see a tons of extension option by default and if you want more extension or plugins then you can see here below minus extension just click on it now it will take you to the extension page and you can see here install packages just click on it so you will see here tons of packages that are available for your Inkscape software so you can just click on it and you can see below install package if you want more extension or plugins which are available here so you can just select it and you can install it completely for free so once your vector designing is done or completed then you can see here on the left of corner file just click on it and now you can click on the service and under the service option you can see here the file formats that you can save like the default one is a uh, scalable vector graphics which I have said before that is the dot sbg this is the most common vector graphics format so you can save it in different formats also like gif formats or html formats or pdf also it's available for here and tons of other options also so what about other formats like png jpg whether we can save this vector graphics designing in the image format like jpg or png or not so a good thing is that surely you can so once again move to the file option and here you will see here an option name as export right just click on export and now here you can see on the below portion you can see already portable network graphics that is a dot png is being selected and if you click on it you will see uh, more options like jpg pdf dot tip event dot webp is also available so you need to click on the export option by going to the file and you need to click on export if you want to save it as image format like png or jpg or like webp or dot tip format then you need to select these options so once your settings is done you can just click on export now it will directly export it to the default location as you can see here the location folder location so in my opinion it's a very good vector graphics designing and editing software for windows mac and linux computer that you should definitely give it a try so if you find this video tutorial useful please click on the thumbs like button and if you're new to our channel click on the subscribe button and lastly thanks for watching